In this video, I'll be walking you through how to change your default port numbers on the Microtech router. This will provide an extra layer of security to your router and prevent external aggressors from accessing your router illegally. So if you look at the router, if you go to IP services, you'll see that the default port numbers are listed there. The one for FTP is 21, SSH is 22, Telnet 23, and so on and so forth. So in this video, we'll be changing the port numbers to something else. So any attempt to access this router without specifying these new port numbers will be unsuccessful. After changing the port number, I'll try to access the router via the Wimbos and Telnet without specifying the new port numbers, just so we can see that it is unsuccessful. So you see that the Telnet port number here has been changed to 447. I'm going to copy this new port number and open another Wimbos session to the router. And when I try to connect, you see that the message I'm seeing here says could not connect to the router or that IP. So this is simply because I did not specify the new port number. I'm going to go ahead now and specify the new port number and see if it is successful. Now, the implication of this is that when you change the port number, you must note down the new port number. So you see with the new port number specified, I am able to log in. Now let's try Telnet. So traditionally you use your putty or you can Telnet from your command prompt. If I go ahead to type in the IP address, which I'm going to do here without changing the port number to what I have set as a new Telnet port number, it is not going to work. Now you see that I've tried on port 23. It says that uh, the host refused that connection. So I'm going to try again using the new port number that I have just set on the system. So when you type in the IP, you go to port and you specify the new port number. So if I check on um, the Microtip router, I should be able to see the new port number specified for Telnet. Good enough. It is 872. Now I'm going to enter 872 here on my putty and try to connect. Now let's see if it's successful. Now, as you can see, I have been able to get to the authentication page where I'm being asked to log in. This is how quick and easy it is for you to provide an extra layer of security to your Microtik router by changing the default port numbers on the router. If you found this post interesting, please kindly give us a subscription, give us a like, share, comment, and turn up post notification to be among the first to receive notifications whenever a new post is made. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.